Hey guys, it's Kim Dai here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys 100 things to do in Tokyo. That's right, 100 things. There are so many things to do in Tokyo that it was actually really hard to narrow it down to just 100 things. But these are the things that I recommend you do if you come to Tokyo. Just before I start the video, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And thumbs up this video if you want to see more Japan related content. And make sure you subscribe to my vlog channel as well to see what I get up to in my life or to my social media, which I'll link down below. It's going to be a long video, so just grab a drink or a snack and let's start the video. One of the most lively places in Tokyo. Take time to explore as there is just so much to do in this area. From shopping to restaurants, bars and entertainment. The list is endless. The station is one of the most confusing stations in the world, but don't let it scare you. Don't be afraid to get lost and explore the area. The Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building, which is located about 10 minutes away from Shinjuku Station, has two towers where you are able to go up and see a beautiful view of Tokyo. Entrance to this place is free and is a great place if you are travelling on a budget. Known as Memory Lane, it's a tight alleyway with lots of small mini restaurants and bars located just outside of Shinjuku Station. If you're looking to eat delicious authentic Japanese food with an olden feel, this place is perfect. Of course, if you are going to Japan, sushi is something you must eat. Sushi in Japan is incredibly fresh, much higher quality and also it isn't as expensive as in most countries. Japanese convenience stores are absolutely amazing. They sell food on the go that actually tastes really good and are reasonably priced. For your midnight snacks or if you just need something quick to keep you going, definitely go visit one. Game centers in Japan are always stocked with the latest games and UFO catcher machines. They are great to spend time at with friends or alone if you need to kill some time. This is a famous restaurant famous for their curry udon. There is usually a really long line every day so get there early to avoid waiting in long lines. The atmosphere is lovely with live music. Stay in a capsule hotel. A capsule hotel is a very convenient place to stay if you need somewhere for a night. You can sleep in small capsules which may seem a bit weird but it's actually really comfortable. Best of all the price is much cheaper than a hotel. Visit a cat cafe. In a cat cafe, cats roam around freely while you buy a drink, sit down and enjoy their company. It is a great place for the cat lovers who aren't allowed pets in their apartment to be able to spend time with these felines. If you're looking for a place to find Korean goods in Tokyo, Shin Okubo is the place to go. Located right next to Shinjuku, Shin Okubo has a lot of Korean restaurants, makeup stores as well as stores selling K-pop merchandise. No doubt the public transport system in Japan is one of the most fastest and most efficient in the world. With trains almost coming exactly on the dot every single time, taking the train is very convenient. Shibuya is a very popular area for shopping and restaurants. It is always super busy but there is a lot you can do in the area. It is also a great place for nightlife. For those into Japanese fashion, Shibuya 109 is where you go to shop. It is a very popular shopping mall featuring numerous or famous Japanese brands. With around 120 shops, it is very easy to spend a couple of hours here. Visit the famous statue of Hachiko, who waited for his owner to return home for over 9 years. It's a popular meeting spot in Shibuya. Don Quixote it is one of the most popular stores in Japan for tourists. It's a discount chain store where you can find most of the popular Japanese goods. They have many products ranging from food, makeup, electronics, homewares and more. If you are a tourist, you can also get tax free here. Located outside the Hachiko exit at Shibuya Station, the iconic Shibuya crossing is a must visit if you are in Tokyo. 
Once the light turns green, thousands of people cross the street. If you want to visit an interesting shop in Japan, Village Vanguard is one to go to. It is a bookstore, however, they have many different novelty items that you won't be able to find anywhere else. It will for sure keep you entertained. Takeshita Street is a very popular street located just outside of Harajuku Station. The long street has lots of unique shops where you'll be able to find unique fashion items, accessories, souvenirs, as well as cafes. It is always super busy as it's so popular here. Right in the middle of Takshita Dori, there is a candy store that does giant rainbow cotton candy. It is insanely popular so you won't miss it. It is great to share with a bunch of friends. Try out a drink at a vending machine. They have lots of unique drinks including hot drinks in winter. They are really convenient and you can find them in most streets in Tokyo. Monjayaki is a very popular dish in Tokyo. It is Tokyo's style of okonomiyaki. There is a lot more liquid and you eat it by using small mini spatulas, sharing it with your friends. For those who are looking for Japanese skincare and cosmetics, drugstores in Japan have a wide selection of different items. Japanese drugstores stock most of the popular brands in Japan and occasionally they have sales for the items too. For those of you wanting to go to a unique crazy cafe in Tokyo, the Kawaii Monster Cafe is a place that is over the top colourful with kawaii decor and also very unique food items that will make you a bit confused. Eat a crepe in Harajuku. Harajuku is known for many crepe shops down Takashita Dori. They usually have lots of different flavours on display, so buy a crepe from one of the stores as a snack to keep you going for the day. A large park in Shibuya that is located just next to Harajuku Station. It is absolutely beautiful during spring with lots of sakura, but also throughout the year, it is a great place to visit if you want to spend more time with nature. Omata Sando is a luxury street filled with beautiful modern architecture and designer stores. If you go into the back streets, there are many cafes, salons and small designer stores. Visit a Japanese hair salon. Hair salons in Japan are excellent when it comes to treating your hair. The customer service is great, so try something new with your hair. For animal lovers or if you just want some time to cuddle up with a furry friend, try out a rabbit cafe. You have to order a drink when you go in, but then you are able to spend time relaxing with cute rabbits. You can even buy them vegetable treats. Take some time out to explore the back streets of Harajuku. They are a lot more quiet and you can find some hidden gems there. You can also find some unique fashion stores as well as trendy cafes by exploring around. Ikebukuro is a busy district in Tokyo that has many department stores as well as famous ramen shops. It is actually the world's third busiest train station. There are a lot of entertainment here such as game centers, so it draws in a younger crowd as there are a lot of affordable things to do around here. Otome Road is known as the Akihabara for girls. There are anime goods stores as well as cosplay stores that are more catered towards women. However, it doesn't mean that male anime lovers won't enjoy this place as well because it is small but you might find some hidden gems here. When you're in Tokyo, why not get some unique Japanese snacks to bring back home for souvenirs? On the way to Sunshine City, there is a store called Okashi no Machioka that sells them for very cheap prices. Sunshine City is located in Ikebukuro and it's like a city inside a city. It is a huge commercial complex that features a large shopping mall as well as an aquarium and planetarium inside. There are lots of character shops in here including the Mega Pokemon Center. For the Pokemon fans, the Pokemon Center is a must visit. There are multiple Pokemon Centers around Tokyo and all of them are filled with lots of merchandise that will bring back your nostalgia.
There is a unique cafe in Ikebukuro, the Milky Way Cafe, which has desserts themed as constellations. They have lots of fun desserts that are unique. For the theme park or Disney lovers, Tokyo has its own Disney World and of course there is a Disneyland. Make sure you check out Cinderella's Castle and also at night time at 8pm there are fireworks. Tokyo Disney Sea is a separate theme park to Disneyland. For those of you who are only able to attend one theme park, I highly recommend Disney Sea over Disneyland. Disney Sea is more catered towards adults with lots more attractions and beautiful scenery. Akihabara, known as the electric town of Tokyo. It is a great place for the more geeky ones out there. It's filled with electronics, anime and variety stores. If you are looking for a specific anime merchandise, this is a place you will most likely find it. Now if you are looking for a certain anime item, Akihabara is the place to go for some anime shopping. Sometimes you can find limited items that are no longer available for a higher price but at least you can still get it. Japan has cosplay stores that sell high quality costumes for really reasonable prices. Check out the stores in Akihabara to see if you can find your favourite character. For the Pokemon fans, in Akihabara you can buy Taiyaki shaped like the Pokemon Magikarp. It is a fish shaped cake and it comes in different flavours. Visit Super Potato, a vintage gaming store. In Akihabara there is a store you should definitely visit if you play video games back in the day. Here you can find all the old consoles as well as games for a very reasonable price. You can also play Super Mario on the old vintage arcade game machines. For those of you who want a totally different experience in Japan, a maid cafe is something you won't forget. You will be served by cute maids who would draw cute images on your food and also give you live performances. Gachapon. It is really popular in Japan and they are constantly being updated with lots of cute characters, mainly anime ones. There is a store in Akihabara that has hundreds of gachapon machines for you to choose from. Hopefully you get the item that you want. Nakano Broadway is kind of like a mini Akihabara. It is an indoor shopping complex that mainly sells anime, manga and idol goods. You can also find lots of rare items that you can no longer get anywhere here too if you're lucky. Whilst you're in Japan, why not rent a kimono for a day to really experience Japanese culture. You can take lots of great pictures as well as walk around Japanese temples while wearing these beautiful garments. Take a rickshaw tour around Asakusa. You will see lots of rickshaws around Sensoji Temple, so ride around and see the main tourist attractions the old fashioned way. Visit Sensoji Temple, Tokyo's oldest temple. It is located in Asakusa and has a very big beautiful gate just outside called the Kaminarimon. Inside you can purify yourself with the smoke and also pray at the temple. In Asakusa, you can get your fortune by Omikuji. Put in 100 yen, shake until a stick comes out, then match the stick with the number in one of the drawers to get your fortune. If you get a bad one, tie it up and leave the bad luck behind. Whilst walking up to Sensoji Temple, check out Nakamise. It's a shopping street full of souvenirs and street food. It does get very crowded on weekends, so I would suggest going on a weekday. Japan has some of the best street food. When walking to Sensoji Temple at Nakamise, there are lots of street food for you to try out at reasonable prices. Go on a river cruise alongside Sumida River. The Sumida River flows through Tokyo and there are beautiful bridges stretching across the river. The Sky Tree is Japan's tallest structure and is located in Asakusa. You are able to go up to the observatory to see a beautiful view of Tokyo. I highly recommend you go at night time to see the city all lit up.
Ameyoko. It is short for Ameyoko-cho and is a large outdoor market located in Ueno. There is a lot of street food and also a lot of stores you can shop at. They also sell a lot of fresh produce such as fruit, vegetables and fish. Ueno Park is a huge park that has museums and even a zoo. It is an extremely popular cherry blossom viewing spot. There's also a lake and lots of nature to enjoy a quiet, peaceful walk. Conveniently located near Shibuya and Harajuku, Meiji Junku Shrine is a must visit. Because it is Tokyo's most famous shrine, it does get very crowded, so it is recommended to go earlier if you want less of a crowd. There is actually a lot you can do at Tokyo Station. The station has a huge underground mall with lots of food and shops. Explore the Marunouchi area outside the station to see a different side of Tokyo. It's a more business district with lots of good restaurants. Located inside Tokyo Station, Ramen Street has 8 of the best ramen restaurants in Tokyo in one area. Most of the stores have a ticket vending machine system where you purchase what you want via vending machine and then hand a ticket to the restaurant. Japan is famous for their different Kit Kat flavours as you can't get them anywhere else in the world. Inside Tokyo Station there is a store that stocks lots of different flavours and they change depending on the season. Inside Tokyo Station, there is a character street which consists of many stores with Japanese character goods. They have stores such as a Pokemon store, Studio Ghibli and Hello Kitty to name a few. It is a great place to do some last minute souvenir shopping. The Hamaruki Garden was originally the hunting ground for the Tokugawa Shogunate. Located in the heart of Tokyo in the Chuo Ward, it is a very big garden that is very well maintained. You can see beautiful contrasting scenery from the traditional Japanese garden and the modern city skyscrapers. Azabujuban. It's a wealthy residential area that is not really busy. The streets are paved and it has a lot of trendy cafes as well as a lot of supermarkets, making it a convenient area to stay in. Japan has festivals all year around. Should you be in Japan where there is a festival, you should definitely check it out for a unique experience. Summer has a lot of festivals where you can wear a yukata, eat good food and enjoy the entertainment. Japan has lots of interesting cafes and the Hedgehog Cafe is one of them. You are able to pay per hour to go and have a chance to hold some adorable hedgehogs. You can even buy them a snack and feed them yourself. Ginza is known for high-end shopping for your branded goods. There are multiple high-end department stores as well as Michelin-style restaurants. There's also a kabuki theatre which holds classical Japanese dance drama shows. A permanent Pokemon cafe has opened up in Takashimaya in Nihonbashi. If you are a Pokemon fan, you must go to try out the extremely adorable food, drinks and dessert. You have to reserve before you go, so make sure you do via their website. For those of you who love cosplay, this is a dream studio for you. Hako Stadium has so many cool sets where you can take photos in your costumes. They even have shelves of props that you can use. Tokyo Tower is an iconic tower standing at 333 meters high. The main deck of the tower is at 150 meters with an observatory that allows you to see Tokyo from all angles. Udon is a thick wheat flour noodle and is a popular Japanese dish. There are different toppings you can usually choose to add onto your dish. Daikan Yama is a trendy little neighborhood that is near Shibuya. Here you will find lots of local designer stores as well as fancy cafes. It's in a much more quiet part of Tokyo if you want to get away from the busy city scene. Ginki Sushi is a popular chain sushi shop where you order on a screen and your order comes in front of you. It is a lot of fun and also very affordable so you can try out lots of different dishes. 
Odaiba is a man-made island with lots of shopping and entertainment. It is located on Tokyo Bay and you can get there by crossing the Rainbow Bridge. It is a relaxing area with a small beach as well as many other attractions. From downtown Tokyo in Shimbashi, you can take the monorail, which is the Yurikamome line that goes across the Rainbow Bridge. It is entirely automated by computers and there are no drivers on board the train. Diver City is a large shopping mall on the Adaiba Island. The Gundam statue is in front of it and even has a cafe attached to it. There are lots of restaurants, shops and entertainment inside here. Daikan Rancha, which roughly translates to Big Wheel. It is a huge ferris wheel located in Odaiba next to Pallet Town. I would highly recommend going at night time as you are able to see beautiful lights and the view is much more amazing. In Odaiba, there is a life-size Gundam statue just outside of Diver City. From time to time, it will move its head around and at night time, there is a mini light show. Venice 4 is one of the prettiest shopping malls I've been to. It gives off a European vibe and there is also an outlet on the top floor. There's also a huge fountain in the middle and they have water and light shows occasionally. If you would like to try a hot spring experience, there is one in Odaiba called Oedo Onsen Monogatari. You are able to wear a yukata and enjoy the facilities such as hot springs, food and entertainment. Meguro River is located in a quiet neighborhood and is very peaceful around the area. It is however one of the most popular cherry blossom viewing spots so it does get very busy during that season. The Imperial Palace is where the Emperor of Japan resides. Tokyo is actually built around the palace. You are able to visit a small portion of the garden grounds during certain times. If you would like some quiet time, check out Inokashira Park, which is located on the west side of Tokyo. It has a very relaxing atmosphere and is a very popular spot for cherry blossom viewings during spring. Whilst you are in Japan, why not try some authentic green tea ice cream? This is one of the most popular flavors of ice cream, so you won't have a hard time finding it in Japan. This is a must-go for Studio Ghibli fans. It is located in Mitaka on the west side of Tokyo. Make sure you book your tickets before going as you can't buy them at the door. This demo is a place to go if you are looking for collaboration makeup with Pokemon, Sailor Moon or other popular characters. They regularly come out with new products. See if you can find your favourite character there. Koenji is a small neighbourhood that is great for vintage clothes and thrift shops. It is also well known for live houses and cheap food. It's a great place if you are on a budget. Go to a Japanese nail salon. Pamper yourself with a gel nail set. You will be addicted as they make your nails last a lot longer and it's a lot cheaper in Japan. You can find lots of affordable Japanese nail salons that allow you to make reservations online. Omu rice is short for omelette rice. It's a popular Japanese dish. Whilst the traditional omu rice uses tomato sauce, there are lots of different flavors and toppings that you can choose from. Purikura is a photo booth machine that usually changes your face to make you look more of like an anime character. But it's great fun with friends and is a great way to remember your day. Enizakaya is like a Japanese bar that is very popular for food and drinks. You won't have a hard time finding them as they are everywhere. It is really convenient as you can order all night long on a tablet. Located right next to the iconic giant spider in Roppongi, Roppongi Hills features one of the tallest buildings in the city, the Mori Tower. 
There are lots of shops, restaurants, a museum and even an observation deck where you can see a beautiful view of Tokyo. Try out a seasonal drink at Starbucks. Starbucks in Japan regularly comes out with seasonal drinks that you can only get in Japan. They are unique and a lot of them taste really good. Shimokitazawa is close to Shibuya and Shinjuku and is one of the upcoming hit places to be. There are lots of vintage and thrift shops for those of you trying to find some unique clothing items. If you also want cafes with really good coffee, this is the place to go. Sukiyaki is a Japanese hot pot dish where you usually have meat and vegetables cooking. You eat it by dipping the food into raw egg. One of my favourite restaurants is Nabizo where you can do an all you can eat course. If you are in Japan during the springtime, of course sakura is something that you must see. Japan is known for its beautiful cherry blossoms during the spring season where it is pink everywhere. They are absolutely beautiful and there are hundreds of different places where you can see them. If you are in Japan, you should definitely go karaoke with some friends. Karaoke is actually very affordable with very up-to-date songs in Japan and usually they have all-you-can-drink packages. It is a great place to spend a night with your friends and sing your favourite tunes. Yokohama is Japan's second largest city. There is a lot to do from eating, shopping to entertainment. It is just a 20 minute ride from Tokyo and it is a lot more quiet if you want to get away from the busy hustle and bustle. Yokohama Chinatown is Japan's largest Chinatown. It is usually really crowded with lots of Chinese restaurants and stores. There are also lots of street food so check them out if you're in the area. Located in the heart of Yokohama city, there is a small amusement park. There are a few rides and entry into the park is free. Visit the Cup Noodle Museum where you can find cup noodles from all around the world. While you are there, make your own personalised cup noodles where you can decorate your own cup, also choose your own toppings and flavour. For all the Pokemon fans, once a year there is a Pikachu festival in Yokohama, just about 20 minutes away from Tokyo. The festival usually happens in August and it consists of lots of music, games and a Pikachu parade. Thank you so much for watching this video if you made it this far. If you haven't been to Tokyo yet, what is one thing that you would really like to do? If you've already been to Tokyo, what is one thing that you would really recommend to everyone else? Let me know in the comment box down below. Please thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and remember to subscribe to my channel. Also my social media which I'll link down below. And I hope you really enjoy your trip to Tokyo. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!